Hallo. 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 Wir sind Mongolhead. Hallo. And you're watching the Krang Podcast? Yes. Mertley Crayer. <laughs> it's actually Mertley Coo. Mertley Coo. Mertley Coo. Or Murterhead. <laughs> there you go. It's not in Umlauts have to mean something. Yeah, but... Damn it. I just thought it meant metal. We're a political band. Right. We're <laughs> campaigning for umlauts to mean something. <laughs> so uh, you've played about four gigs now? Four. We have. We Mangle have. Heard. We've we played four gigs. Yeah. Exactly four gigs. Yes, precisely. Actually, well... Well, we Very played fun. one gig in our practice room to our guitar tech. Part, partly so he could learn how the set went, and partly so that we could tell people we paid our dues and we played to no one man. Right. It was brutal. Yeah, man. It was pretty good. Dude, if you, if, you weren't, if you weren't there, you just don't get it. Right. Hopefully it'll be that thing in 15 years' time. Loads of people say they were there for that first gig. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of people claiming they were attacking for us. <laughs> did he take photographic proof so you, know, you can dispel the lies? No, sure. no, we did, no, did he? No, no. I don't think we did. Photos aren't punk. Jesus. Did he have uh, the? And neither are we. <laughs> did he have that Italian woman who did the uh, fresco restoration to paint the band as they played? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I generally try and have Italian women hanging out with me all the time if I can. This, this woman was about 80. She ruined a picture of Jesus. Are you church. an ageist now? No. Yes, you are. No. You just implied I'm, that I I'm wouldn't 36. have. I'm 36. I'm the last person who's going to be no, ageist. No. I am. You're going to have to tell me what moisturizer you use, young man. That's amazing. Ole. <laughs> how 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 nervous were you playing uh, you know Reading and Leeds you know considering you personally have played to a billion people about three weeks ago um, on I that, would uh, say sports event I would say about six right. yeah. Yeah. is that a number you've arrived at through contemplation of, well no, no I, just, I I mean obviously this is less people than I have played to at various yeah, points yeah. in my life but I um uh, you know, I haven't done this kind of stuff for a really long time, so it was kind of like a deal for me to do this. I mean, what brought what brought the idea of Mingle Hood uh, together? You know, because don't fermented yaks. Mingle Hood. No, Mingle Hood. You fermented yaks. Don't milk. just don't encourage it. No. Um, you know, me and Ben. He's playing the band together. Yeah, he does, yeah, he's, we've met. So what me brought this together? This uh, I mean, I think me and, ben have, me and Ben started playing together when we were 10. And I think there was always, even after me and Deb broke up, when things got a bit weird, there was always an expectation that we would play together again at some time. And um, it's take, I think probably taken a little longer than both of us were expecting. Um, because I ended up doing, being rather busier with my solo stuff than I was at first imagining. But, uh, but yeah, we wanted to do something heavy and then Matt and I played together in the Sleeping Souls. Um, hello. 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 Oh, oh, and, thanks, dude. and on the telly. Um, and uh, we, uh, me and Ben, you know, I wanted a, a baritone guitar, I wanted someone to play that, and Matt just kind of wouldn't fuck off. And, uh, and here <laughs> we are. How is that how it happened? I mean, to be honest, the short story is, uh, you know, we got together and someone went, shoot a band. Yeah. What you should write is that the guy that bought the guitar up is Ozzy Ardiles' nephew. I was amazed by this. He lives in Tottingham. Uh, no, he, doesn't. he lives. He actually lives in Clapham Junction. He uh, does. But he also, really nice he also, guy. It's great. He also designed our T-shirt. If you see that as well. I, I was getting there. Oh. What's he designed our T-shirt. So Who's our designs? Famous yeah. Tottenham and. Uh, and Aussie, Aussie Aussie uh, he also he also won the World Cup as well. Nope. No. Frank doesn't know anything about footballer. Like what? <laughs> I know who Peter Crouch is. There you go. What does he do, Frank? He, he does, a, ball, he he does a funny right. dance. He does. Can he do it right now? No, I can't. No, I'm not a footballer. Frank knows who David nice, Beckham is. Nice fucking try, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know who David Seaman is. Yes! There you go. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I, I slightly hate Gareth Southgate because of Euro 96. Right. Oh, look at these. That's everything. Wow. Should be a pundit. <laughs> this is that what? research oh, cool. before this interview. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, dude. So, so, what's the future hold for Mongol Horde? Will we see you again? Nothing at all. The... Really? So, uh, <laughs> so, oh. so basically, uh, Ben and I are going to go into the rehearsal studio in January. January, Feb, yeah. And uh, put some shit together, and then Frank, when he when he finally takes a day off from being Frank Turner, uh, is going to come and put some vocals on. Yeah. Is there ever a day off of being Frank Turner? 
Uh, I feel like I'm having death today. My name's Steve Bustemius. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, no, no, it's uh, you know, it's uh, I'm quite busy with my day job, um, as people generally tend Asda. to. Asda, Asda, exactly. Um, and uh, when, as and when we have time, we'll we'll do more of this. I, I want to do a record and a proper tour next year. So, uh, what what are your plans for the rest of the day? I'm going to drink beer. Yeah, you're making light work of that one. Uh, yes, and then when I finish this one, I'm going to drink another beer, and I'm going to keep doing that until I fall over. Uh, it's also our guitar tech's birthday today. I, I did the uh, hardcore version of Happy Birthday. We're, we're, we're very, very privileged to have uh, Mr. Derian Nagel from the Safety Fire as our guitar tech. And he's 25 today. Des Nagley to his mates. You're not his mate. Nagley is <laughs> uh, But it's his 25th birthday today, so we're going to go and drink lots with him and make him do silly things when he's drunk. Like fall over. Yeah. Fair enough. Because nobody else falls over at festivals, do yeah, they, Ben? No one else. I mean, oh, I really? can't think of anyone who fell over at a festival who, when they who were fell over on at Friday. A ben on Friday decided to chase Des, our, uh, our guitar tech, because Dad had it. chips. So <laughs> Des ran off and slid on the grass and went, oh, that was close. And Ben just completely stacked it, which right. was hilarious. In the fairness of journalism, let's have your right to reply what really happened. I was chasing Des and he had some chips. <laughs> and I fell over. And then apparently I ate them like this. And then I jumped in a golf buggy, took my shirt off, and went to see the Foo Fighters. Walked halfway through the crowd thinking, this is one of my favourite bands of all time. And in that time, they played about four songs. I went, I don't know any of these. I'm going back. Did you return the golf buggy? Yeah, actually, the guy who brought me in the golf buggy was there when I drunkenly got back to the bit. So he took me home. Before we went on, Frank and Ben decided that I don't have any tattoos, and that's not Ah. good. So Frank made me a tattoo. And it says, uh, it says really, really tattoo. Really tattoo. Oh, you've got the uh, the umlauts in there again. Yeah, of Would you umlaut everything if you had the chance? Yes. That is, yes. That is essentially <laughs> my life's work. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, my last work. Yeah. Have a lovely day. No. I'll take a kiss. Yeah. Kiss is the uh, this could be like a new feature on Krang. I hope not. Kiss Simon Young. Come on, beer smells a little bit of uh, pepperoni pizza, which is... Uh, does it? It does a bit. No, but I mean, seriously, uh, person behind the camera, back me up on this. Um, George? Hello. Back me up. This could be a new feature for Krang. Kiss Simon Young. Right? Simon, <laughs> Simon Young kisses bands you like. Yeah. <laughs> Krang, Krang. I am the only person to win two Krang Olympics, Christmas Olympics, in a yeah, row. Double Olympian. Maybe, maybe if they did really well at Kissing Simon, they could win a chance to kiss Ben as well. Wow, that, that is the accolade to strive for. Or indeed, if they did really badly, they would have to kiss Ben. <laughs> right, yeah, right. A bit more like it. We will... Uh... And we're never staying at my parents' house again. Thanks, oh. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I will.